Are you awake? Hey, are you awake? Sorry, I know it's late. It's just... I saw the guy who killed your mum. I mean, I knew he was out on bail, but I didn't expect to just run into him like that. I don't think he recognized me, but I knew it was him straight away. Those photographs are burned into my mind. He was just there all of a sudden. I came out of work and there he was, just walking down 23rd Street, completely free. The nerve of him to be alive while carried. So I followed him. I followed him into a grocery store and watched him buy orange juice and coffee. I followed him to his apartment building and I waited outside. I waited so long my legs got tired of standing. It started to rain. I was about to leave, just forget the whole thing. And then he came out. I followed him into the subway, onto the platform. I stood near him while we were waiting for the train. I could have pushed him right into the oncoming train. I could have done that then. Instead, we both got on the train. And when he got off, I got off. We went into this church down in the basement. It was a meeting for people who were trying not to drink or take drugs anymore. I stood in the back. Am I supposed to feel better that a guy who hit your mother with a car is going to some meeting? Is that supposed to make everything okay somehow? Other people get up and tell their stories, but I'm watching him, and all I can think is a murderer. 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 I'm going to take care of this. This is what I can do. It's his fault you have no mother. It's probably his fault you never cry. I'm going to make sure he's punished for it. Subscribe for a new life every week. Visit the website to support the series and to get access to the Behind the Lives podcast. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next life.